Hi, welcome back to Art by Brooke. In today's video, I am going to be doing a vase paint pour over a canvas, though I will probably show the canvas in a separate video, so be on the lookout for that coming up. Something I've noticed on my channel is one of my most popular videos is actually a vase pour with pink, and it was actually originally intended to be kind of a Christmassy colored one, but I think the red mixed with white and made like a really bright magenta. So I noticed that people really liked that. I've also noticed that people are really interested in some of my other videos with pink paint pours. <laughs> That's actually like a tongue twister, pink paint pours. And since it's been a little while since I've done a pink painting, I wanted to do one with pink, gold, some white, and some black. I'm going to do a tree ring pour on this vase. And then I usually have to add some more paint to the canvas before I can tilt it around because it usually comes off of the vase kind of muddy. So in the next video, you'll probably see what I do with the leftover paint on that. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, I think that will be enough. I want to go really slowly on this because if you pour it all at once, everything rolls off. So I'm going to start with a layer of just pink so that I can get some paint on there and then really slowly pour the tree ring over it. Okay, so this continues to move, uh, but I wanted to turn it so you could see some of the other sides. I am in love with this. I'm so glad that I decided to pour pink first and then just do a little bit of a tree ring because it let all of those cool layers stretch out. Okay, I am going to very gently take it off of the canvas and move it to the back corner so it can dry safe from me knocking it over. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Sometimes when I move these, uh, my hand will touch the bottom rim, 
Um, so I just am always prepared to add a little bit more paint if I need to, or a nice thing is, is that I move this before my vase is done stretching out all the paint. So often paint will cover where I touched anyway. If you're interested in more tips about how to do a vase paint pour, uh, I will have my video linked in the description below and in the cards. I did a video on kind of, uh, tips and tricks on when I do a vase paint pour. So now it is where it will dry and my hope is that once this is more dry I can actually show you all the different sides. It's a little tricky to turn around when it's still wet so I don't really want to risk tipping it over. Plus it'll look different once it's dry than it does now because the paint continues to move for quite a while. So I'll let this dry for about a day or two and at that point it'll be at least dry to handle. I'll probably still let it cure for a little while before thinking about sealing it. But for you, it'll just be a few seconds. And here we are two days later. So I'm going to take it off of the cup that it's been sitting on to dry and I will show you all of the sides. So here it is. It is matte because it dries matte because of the Floetrol and then it will be shiny once I do a shiny coat. Look at this. This is so cool. I love those black lines on here. There's even more over here. So neat. And the bottom always looks the coolest because that's kind of the top when you're doing the pouring. But of course, nobody ever will really see that. And the inside just shows all the pink that was on there first. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click the bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.